Hello, University of Alaska faculty members. I'm Kate Quick, your United Academics Union Organizing Manager. This video, Career Advancement 101, Preparing Your Fourth Year Review File, is designed for tenure-track faculty members preparing files for pre-tenure, fourth-year review. We have separate videos for promotion and tenure, post-tenure reviews, and non-tenure-track promotion. Those can be found on our YouTube channel. It's important to note that fourth year reviews happen during your fourth year of employment. Your dean or director should have your fourth year review date on their radar, but make sure to communicate with them in the spring of your third year regarding your upcoming fourth year review. This will ensure that you're included on any emails your dean, director, or provost sends out related to comprehensive reviews at your university. CBA Article 9.2.2.B on page 24 covers fourth year review requirements and 9.2.6 on page 29 covers the timeline for each step in the review process. The CBA is linked below in the video description. If you feel you're ready to stand for tenure instead of a pre-tenure review, you do have this option. Just notify your supervisor of your intent to stand for tenure instead of pre-tenure review and provide them with the names of two external reviewers. Do this before the last day of contract in the spring before you plan to stand for promotion and tenure. This process is explained in our promotion and tenure video located on our YouTube channel. Keep in mind that if you decide to go this route and skip the fourth year review in lieu of, and stand for tenure instead, you can't pull your file early like you can if you stand for tenure before the mandatory seventh year, but after your fourth year review. As you prepare your fourth year review file, it's really important that you know exactly what needs to be included and what criteria you need to meet in order to successfully be promoted in the future. To ensure this, review the previously mentioned sections of CBA Article 9. Equally important, review your university's faculty handbook for criteria unique to your university. Your UAA, UAF, or UAS faculty evaluation criteria is available on your provost's website, each of which are also linked below in the video description. Finally, you also need to review your college or program's unit criteria for localized promotion and tenure requirements. Talk to your colleagues in your department, program, or college if you need help finding your unit criteria. Communicate with senior faculty members in your department or program. Ask for their advice. Ask for their help. Ask to see their successful files. Down the road, you can repay the favor by helping new junior faculty go through the fourth year review process. Here you see a screenshot of all the materials you'll need to include in your fourth year review file. This is found in Article 9.2.2.B on page 24 of the CBA. You're required to include all of your workloads for the period under review, and it's important to make sure the work you've completed matches the work expectations on your workloads. When the work you perform during a year changes, make sure you revise your workload to maintain accuracy. You can always address any inconsistencies in your personal narrative, but it's best if your work performed matches the work on your workload. Your personal narrative can be overwhelming to write, but reviewing colleagues' narratives will help. Your narrative will end up being several pages long. Aim for five to six pages and keep it under 10. Single space is acceptable. Note that number nine and 10 say other material as specified by academic unit, MAU, and at the member's discretion. This is where the requirements for your university's handbook and your academic unit criteria come into play, as well as peer evaluations. You should ask your colleagues to give you teaching or research peer reviews, and you should continue to do so during your time at the university. You should be adding to your file all the time. You should start a draft and add notes to it to ensure that you don't leave anything out when you're compiling your official file. If you haven't started doing this yet, start now. Anytime you do something worth noting, from conversations you have about possible projects to grant funding applications, 
community outreach, university or department assistance, committee work, student assistance, make a note of it in your file, in your draft file. Material can always be deleted when preparing the file for submission, but important items might be left out if you haven't been adding notes to a draft to remind you of everything you've done, and you will have done a lot of work in the period under review. Keep in mind that your fourth year review file should be considered a rough draft of your tenure and promotion file. It's your chance to get feedback on your file and advice on where you should do more work before standing for tenure. Reviewers may suggest areas to improve before your tenure review. You should view this as positive and helpful feedback. Written responses to each level of review are not required, but they're allowed and encouraged, especially if you feel that something was overlooked or you want to explain the context that led to negative comments in your review. It's important to be respectful when you write these responses to, to reviews. Contact your union officers or UNEX staff if you want someone to review your response before you submit it. To submit your responses, follow the directions provided by your provost's office. Deadlines for these responses are laid out in Article 9.2.6 on page 29 of the CBA. To sum things up, this is an exciting time in your career, but it's also a stressful time. To reduce your stress, don't wait for the last minute to prepare your file. Start early, ideally weeks to months or more in advance. Files are due by September 12th, so start turning your draft into an official virtual file very soon if you haven't already. If you need help learning how to make a virtual file, your provost's office is there to help you, so contact them for help. Don't be afraid to ask your colleagues for help and guidance. This includes your UNAC vice president and other UNAC officers or your UNAC staff. Our union contact information is on our website, unitedacademics.net, under the Contact Us menu, which is also linked below. Good luck preparing your files and going through the review.